All right, y'all. Excuse me for looking absolutely disgusting and gross right now. I just got home from work and I have realized, oh my God, there are more lights people bundles. Of course, why wouldn't they? Why would they not do lights people bundles for May 4th? And honestly, this might be a hot take, but if you guys know me, this might be my favorite round of lights people bundles yet. Maybe not necessarily the best. I know SLTR is a pretty good contender, but one of my favorites in, in terms of lore. So I know this is a bit late. I know this video is a bit late. So I'm going to be more just talking through like what this could mean for the general game in, in, in general, I suppose. And um, talk about the future, I guess. And uh, I guess, again, just relish in the fact that, oh my God, more lifespan bundles are coming very soon. So let's go take a look over here. And uh, by the way, if you haven't already, drop a like and subscribe. What are you, what are you doing, man? Come on. Let's, do, let's, let's get those likes up. Uh, let me turn this uh, the chat thing back here off for you. Sorry, I need to get better about doing that. Anyways, oh my god. Okay, so General Skywalker. If you guys are viewers of the channel, you will know that Gas is the character that I want the most in the entire game. Because I, I just going back to that time when I was playing the game when Gas was coming out, he looks so cool. And Clone Wars stuff, favorite era is Star Wars. Gas is one of my favorite. I mean, in lore is one of my favorite characters as well. And the requirements are just great. You get Separatists, you get, you know, Galactic Jedi, clones. I love, you know, Captain Rex is my favorite character, so. Love gas, and this is just awesome to see. Um, we do get a lot of double up in these lightspeed bundles. I can see a lot of overlapping Separatists. There's Droidica and B1 and all in these packs as well. Ooh, a Relic 5 Django. I'm a fan of that. That's gonna go nice on my Bounty Hunter team, because right now I have Dengar instead, but. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Dooku as well. I got that Datacron. That's crazy, bro. I'm kind of surprised that they're giving some of this stuff away. I mean, they're not. It's $50. It's not, not cheap. And this is a different bundle. But I'm kind of surprised by these prices, to be honest. Like, honestly, like, this is not bad. And there's a lot of opportunity here. So, anyways, moving on. They're, they're really setting us up for gas this time around. Uh, 3PO. We got all the Ewoks. <laughs> I'm almost done farming my Ewoks to the 3 view event, but hey, now I, I'll have Relic 3 Ewoks besides Nisa, so I guess I'll keep farming Nisa for a bit, and then, uh, well, there we go. We'll have a real nice uh, Ewok team to throw on defense, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm a super big fan of this. The two things I was currently working on was um, Inquisitors, CLS, and Ewoks. So getting a C3 pill for your CLS team and Ewoks done just in a one lightspeed bundle is great. And again, getting my white whale for this game is amazing. Um, Night Sisters, I love this. This is really, really cool. Um, this will open up a lot of other doors for people with SLKR as well. Because if, you, in case you're not aware, there's some cheese you can do with like old Daka, Night Sister Zombie, and um, with SLKR, there's some cheese you can do with that. This is a farm I wanted to get around to. Super glad I didn't now. Um, there, this is gonna be really fun. Um, I'm also this is also gonna be encouraging people to get Big Cal. I will be getting Big Cal around the time I get Jedi Master Luke, so very, very excited about that. Um, and Marin, farming up Marin now more than ever will make a lot of sense for you. So definitely think about uh, favoring Marin, especially after that, uh, ooh, that chase event with the Marin shards the other week. Oh my God, that makes a lot of sense now. They're trying to get us to farm these Night Sisters. It's almost like a Separatist Galactic Legend that has association with the Night Sisters is coming. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. Um, Genosian Lightspeed Bundle. Yeah, I, we've talked about this ever since like round one of Lightspeed Bundles. Everyone said, you know, they should just give us Geos because this is like the most, this is the most passable Lightspeed Bundle, I think. I mean, it's great for the ships. Um, GBA, I mean, he can be pretty annoying at Relic levels. I mean, to be honest, the whole team can be annoying at Relic levels if you don't just instantly take him out. But, um, not a bad buy, not a bad buy. I think that's a decent purchase. Uh, I, you, I can say, though, that if you do buy the Geo Bundle, you don't necessarily need to buy the Amidala Lightspeed Bundle. Now, I would recommend probably getting the Amidala Bundle over the Geo Bundle because, I mean, these requirements are going to be much more helpful throughout the entire game. Um, you know, we got Droidica, Magna Guard, B1, B2. That's the basically a Grievous team right there. You got Ventress. And Dooku, there's some, I mean, not really synergy with the Ventress, but Ventress goes on the Night Sisters, and then Dooku, he has a Datacron right now, which is pretty great, and you also get 
pushing people towards Trench, I suppose. You also have Newt. Newt's pretty good. Uh, and Django Fett, Dark Side Mandalorian, Bounty Hunter, Separatist. He goes, he's putting his hands in all the pots right now. And, um, I mean, this is just a great bundle. The Geo one is fine. It's fine. I don't know. This might be the first Lightspeed bundle I skip out on, depending on the price here. But I'm not entirely decided yet. Um, gas, uh, you also, I, I should have scrolled down to show you this. The ships you get with this is insane! I can't believe you're getting the Negotiator. That's really cool. I will say, a lot of the stuff you do get pretty early, though. So I don't know if the ships are necessarily the selling point. I think the selling point for this is going to be the first three ships. I guess Plo Koon ships. Actually, never mind. Okay, backtrack what I'm saying. The, for a me catch-up mechanic for players that don't have this, this is pretty awesome. Um, the Negotiator is a pretty fun fleet. Anakin is a key part of that fleet. Ahsoka, I think, is an underrated unit on that fleet. Plo Koon, one of the best reinforcements on the fleet. And then... Um, Fives and uh, Arc Trooper, or Arc 170, sorry. Arc 170 are, are nice to have, pretty nice units to have on this team, obviously. So, huge fan of that. I think $50 is a steal. I mean, I, I I have a lot of these characters, just not Relic. Like, I, I have Anakin, I have Ahsoka already. Um, the rest of these guys I have at least, I either haven't touched yet, or I have them at, like, getting close, or around, or getting close to year 12. And this is just a huge boost for me, so... The ships, though, are not that big of a deal, but I'm sure for the people this is intended for, the people that don't have this, this is going to be great for you. Um, yeah, so you also see they have a bunch of little other calendars and some free stuff in here, but I'm, we're mostly here to talk about, mostly here to talk about the life bills. Now, for those of you that are interested and you know what I'm talking about, I will be having an updated Lightspeed Bundle Farming Guide video out sometime pretty soon, um, because, well... I have a Lightspeed Bundle Farming Guide video that I think is pretty great, and I re reference it in every single roster review that I do at this point, because it's such a great format. Um, we'll be making an updated one so you guys can follow along with some really um, solid flows of farms to uh, fix up your accounts uh, and impl implement these Lightspeed Bundles. So, I'm very, very excited about this. I'm definitely going to purchase all of them except maybe the Geo Bundle. I'm not entirely sold on that one yet, but... We'll see. Uh, I'm very, very excited about gas. Um, and I do think that, I mean, they're gearing us up for the raid. Maybe they're gearing us up for a Galactic Legend Darth Tyrannus. I talked about that on, on Nucha's channel. I guess this will come out tomorrow. So yesterday I talked about this on Nucha's channel. Um, if you want to go check that out. Um, Darth Tyrannus, I think, is looking really, really nice. Now, the thing you can counter this with is like, okay, well, if they're giving us all of these characters that are going to end up being requirements. Why are they putting them in Lightspeed models right before Galactic Legend? That I don't really quite have the answer to, and I do think a lot of the stuff in here is purposefully selected so that maybe you have... They're, they're omitting stuff. Like, a lot of... I mean, this doesn't make a lot of sense, but a lot of the 501st are omitted from this, like Rex and the Arc Trooper and whatever. And, I mean, there's other characters that you can look at. I mean, Grandmaster Yoda, I don't know, obviously the new Marquis as well, Padme, potentially. So... They're still locking things, this Galactic Legend behind things. Um, I, I'm still, I'm still really hoping for uh, Count Dooku, man. I really, I think that would be an awesome Galactic Legend. And uh, these Lightspeed bundles really have me hyped. I'm super excited about this. So, uh, again, updated Lightspeed Bundle Farming Guide will be soon. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios, you guys.